Welcome to eLearn Today TV. Today is Thursday, December 2nd, 2010. And happy Hanukkah to all those out there like me who celebrate it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, we are here to bring you the latest in education and e-learning and all the technology straight from our blog. Uh, if you're not following us on Twitter, I'm at LG Educator. And I'm Learning Chick. But we didn't say our names. Oh. Yeah. I'm Lauren Grossberg. <laughs> and I'm Lena Gonzalez. I knew I forgot something. Okay, yeah. well, <laughs> and also be sure to check out our um, blog for more teacher and educator resources. And I don't know what you just pointed at, but... <laughs> our producer. Anyways, I think I missed something. Feature of the week. <laughs> um, so this week, um, I wanted to highlight a school, a high school um, in the country, George, George Manson, I forgot the state, that's why, but I'll put it on my notes. Um, <laughs> A, a teacher in um, George Manson High School is using a very interesting way to teach data probability and analysis, and he's using poker. Oh. So yeah, <laughs> they uh, created this poker club um, in, this, in the school earlier this year to um, sort of get the students going about math and mm -hmm. um, especially probability and data analysis. And uh, one of the rules that the principal set from the beginning was that um, money cannot be used um, so they can't gamble and also they they need to make sure that the educational content is always right, right. there like it's specific very explicit very right there and um, it's been it's been really great um, there's a lot of uh, students that have been involved now in uh, the club and uh, what I what I thought was interesting is that this is a method that was used before in universities. It had never been used at the high school level. So it's going to be like a really nice yeah. sort of trial run for a high school to find out if it really works for, for them or not. Um, there's obviously some negative thoughts about having right. uh, a club like that implemented in a high school. Um, but the idea is really to, to find all the ways to get student engagement and involvement and so forth. Um, so I thought it was really interesting. Um, the student leader that is sort of guiding the, the poker um, club there um, kind of starts his sessions by explaining to the other students um, some concepts on um, some of the probability of uh, sort of like the winning and, and that kind of thing. So it was really interesting. Um, I kind of like the idea because I, I remember that when I went to um, school my major was in engineering and um, in, in uh, college and one of the first classes that I had to take for my engineer major was something involving um, probability mm -hmm. and statistics and that kind of thing and the first day of class the first thing that we did was analyze um, your chances of winning the lottery so yeah. it was like very realistic mm -hmm. and so the idea um, with having this implemented in the school is to teach the students a concept um, that is very real and put them in that environment not necessarily taking them to casinos and yeah, that kind of thing that but they have yeah, yeah they have a, a room where they have the table set up and so forth so um, very interesting I still don't know how to play poker so I mean you know. <laughs> okay our video this week um, it's a very cool speech from an 11 year old. Um, basically, this little boy, he's what they call road schooling. So he kind of travels with his family, learns through them, studies and visits all these different places. And basically he's talking about all of his ideas that um, he wants to localize food production and you know have really organic and green food that everyone um, can have. And basically talks about what he believes is wrong with the food system. Um, he talks about what he's learned, such as um, organic farming practices and canning and food preservation, things like that. And he kind of talks about how all the marketers are really trying to target kids and their parents, really, um, through packaging and toys and try to get them to eat all these unhealthy things when they really have to realize that they're not good for you. And he kind of talks about some of the, what he calls like the dark side of food production and um, what he's seen through his travels and through what he's learned. And I think it's a really great little speech. This boy is a great speaker. He's only 11 years old. And he was saying how he decided he wanted to be a basketball player, but then he decided he's going to change that and become an organic farmer so that way he can help people and actually do something good for the environment. Um, so it's a really great speech to check out. And um, it's a great example of just a, somebody, a little boy who really wants to know or knows what he wants to do and is kind of going after that. So. 
really great. I saw the video and it was very inspiring. So. Yes. I don't know half the things he said were, but <laughs> he knows his <laughs> stuff. So I was very impressed that he knew a lot of things. Yeah. That, uh, yeah so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I have a link to that in the blog. So be sure to check that out. Cool. Oh, I can't find it. All right. New in the news. Um, this this week, um, I found out that there's this organization called 826 National. It's a network of um, nonprofits that tutors um, students, and they have several centers throughout the the country. And last year they organized a writing contest for um, writing letters to President Obama. And this year they decided to take it like one step further and this time they're writing letters to um, the First Lady, Mrs. Obama. Um, it was really great. Uh, a lot of people participated, a lot of students participated. There's some great letters. I read a few. They're just so creative. Mm -hmm. A lot of students submitted um, drawings and things like that. And they collected all of them and um, put a book together. And they're, they're just, it's, it's published already. And it's going to be out for ready for Christmas. So if you're looking for a Christmas present, this is really cute for kids. And the book is going to be called I Live Real Close to Where You Used to Live. Mm -hmm and kids letters to Michelle Obama. Really cute, there's a picture of her that a student drew and it's like the book cover, yeah. it's very inspiring and um, I think it's a, it's a great idea for um, kids to write to mm -hmm. their um, government so <laughs> you may get them inspired to keep going and also it's a great gift for Christmas for, for your own kids so um, check it out, it's I think $12 and it's going to be available um, December 13th, we'll have the link on um, our website and also um, the proceeds go to help the foundation and, and uh, provide for more centers and students and education so it's a great cause. Okay, um, our e freebies are actually not free this week. <laughs> this is the first time, but um, it's a really great list, so I wanted to share it with everyone anyways. Um, there are apps for the iPhone and the iPad, but they're um, between $1.99 and $4.99, so they're not that expensive, and they're really great. Um, I picked some that all had to do with animals because they seem to be a popular theme with all these apps, and I just wanted to highlight the ones that I saw that I really liked. Um, the first one's called I Live Math Ocean, and this one is for kindergarten through sixth grade, and it pretty much has all these sea creatures. There's around 30 of them, and there's tons of educational links and videos and all this information about these kind of sea animals. So um, if you're into, into the underwater theme, um, that's a great app. The next one also is called Fish School, and this one it's, has letters, numbers, shapes, lots of basic um, concepts there, and it kind of takes the schools of fish and they kind of form into all these shapes and stuff. Um, so that one's another good one for the ocean. And the next few are kind of jungle. Um, jungle coins, it's pretty much teaching and learning about money and coins and different values. And they use different um, jungle animals like lions and tigers to kind of take you through that. Um, Charles Petey's Animal Alphabet goes through the alphabet. This was a great one for like younger students. And pretty much it takes an animal for each letter and kind of animates it and does sounds and goes through that, helps um, learn the letters. And the last two are kind of farm related. Um, Old McDonald is for the iPad actually and um, it's really animated. You can click on different animals, you can hear the sounds they make, you can watch what they do. Um, you can also sing along to the Old McDonald song and it's in English and French you can do it and then you could actually record it. So it's kind of fun and there's different um, musical styles that you can use in there. And the last one is Peekaboo Barn, which is pretty much you open up different doors in this big barn and you uh, animals pop up and um, you can kind of just see them, hear them, and learn about them that way. So those are all the apps I found this week that are animal related and really great for kids. Cool. No poker? poker um, no. <laughs> Not not K to not K six. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for older students. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So what do you know? Um, I know that the most expensive fruit cake was one point six five million dollars. What? And it's apparently all edible except for the diamonds, which are in there. And there's two hundred and twenty three okay. of them. And it was done by a Tokyo pastry chef. For who? I don't know, but Wow. If you want a really great 
yes. holiday present, you can give someone that this year. I don't <laughs> think so. Buy the $12 book. Yeah. <laughs> what do you know? Bamboo can grow at a rate of two inches per hour. Wow, really? Yeah. Except I have bamboo at home and it's not growing <laughs> at that rate. So I must be killing it or doing something. But anyway, so that's one of the reasons why it's a great renewable resource. Oh. Um, but um, it lasts and, and so forth. So. Alright, well that's our show, so if you liked it, please go to iTunes and give us five stars, and we'll see you next time.